Do you remember a time when four-wheel drives were about dropping down gravel washways instead of dropping the kids off at school? When they were about cruising over boulders instead of cruising to your local country club? So if you think four-wheel driving just means you have four wheels, how wrong you are, because take a look at the all-new FJ Cruiser and be in awe. The brand new FJ Cruiser is based on one of Toyota's best loved four wheeled beasts from yesteryear, the FJ40, which first appeared in 1960. That's over 50 years of four wheel driving history, and the new FJ, that takes it to another level. Adam, how did the FJ Cruiser come about? Aaron, in 2003 this vehicle came out as a, as a concept car paying homage to the FJ40. Due to overwhelming popularity, we had to make this car. Our chief engineer was given a design brief to incorporate Go Anywhere, Do Anything, and that's what he's achieved here today. Now finally, we have it on our road, looking and feeling like the original FJ, but it turns out Toyota have picked up a trick or two in the last 50 years. The FJ Cruiser is pitched as a go-anywhere, do-anything vehicle with none of the unnecessary frills seen in other big cars. It's meant to go off-road and here's a lift why. It's got staggering road clearance for flying over boulders and riverbeds. It's got water repellent seats so it can easily be washed out. It's got big chunky gear levers and door handles so they can be operated in gloves. And instead of a DVD player in the dash, it's got a temperature gauge, a compass and an inclinometer. An inclinometer? When was the last time you needed to know how close you were to rolling over? If that doesn't say off-roader, I don't know what does. Now the interior of the FJ is built for functionality, not flair. It's got a real practical layout and everything is really easy to use. Now the 4 litre V6 petrol engine pumps a heap of grunt to the 5 speed automatic gearbox. You can really feel it. It's a lot of fun to drive. But I don't want you to get the idea that this new FJ is boring or uncomfortable. Yes, it might share a few characteristics with its granddad, but it's a modern car with modern features. The FJ comes with 17-inch alloy wheels, which includes your spare, that's important, three windscreen wipers on your windshield, and a cool reversing camera, which shows up in your rear vision mirror. Plus, and this is a world first, the eight-speaker stereo system has been built into the roof so the ceiling literally acts as a speaker. Now that's surround sound. I really like the overall look of this car and I love the fact that Toyota are trying to pay homage to the original FJ40 by including the round headlights and the famous more square muscular body. Now the original FJ40 was available in a two-door, but these days that's not really practical. So Toyota have added a cool rear door which gives you the flexibility of four, but the look of two. The FJ Cruiser is not intended to be mum's taxi, but it's a true off-roader. It can however handle both of these activities with ease. And with decades of history behind it, and a look that will appeal to young adventurers, the FJ hits all the right buttons. <laughs> One of the best things about the FJ is whether you're on the tarmac or the gravel, it's pretty much got the same drive. And if you're a lazy four-wheel driver, you don't even have to get out of the car. You just click the rear diff in the lock and stick her into four-wheel drive. So there you go. It's easy, it's fun, and you'd have to admit whether you're on the tarmac or off the road, she's pretty cool. If you think it's time to trade the cafes for the creek bed, then check out zoomtv.com.au and follow the links to the brand new Toyota FJ Cruiser.